welcome to Palace. What made the move to South London the right move for you this summer? Yeah, thank you. Um, obviously glad to be here. I think it's uh, a good opportunity for me, you know, continuing my my career in the Premier League to play in uh, a good, exciting team. You know, I've always thought it's a very difficult place to, to play where, as a player before. So, and there, yeah, like I said, you know, some lot, some very exciting, talented players. So, and uh, you must have a special bond with Roy. He made you vice captain of England and then captain for the first time back in 2015. Was that uh, important in your decision making? Yeah, I think uh, touching back on your first question was I had something to do with it as well. I worked with Roy, um, like him very much, um, along with Ray as well. They're, they're, they're fantastic football people um, and I enjoyed my time with them so no that was another decision that was uh, it was well a, another thing that was factored into the decision of coming here and for me to work with them two guys again is is again exciting. You mentioned Palace being a difficult place to come but Palace also had some good results at Chelsea in recent years what, what have been your impressions of, of playing against us recently? My impression of playing against Palace, like you said, we've we've had difficult games. I'll say we when I was at Chelsea, we had difficult games um, against Palace. Um, it was always very solid, compact, um, but you know, exciting, fast wingers, tricky wingers, attacking play. It's an opportunity for me to try and bring um, my attributes to the team and, and some experience, and to try and give everything I possibly can to to help the group. Yeah, you mentioned Sellers Park being a difficult place to go to. What is it about it that makes it tough for the away team? I, I always thought the atmosphere was fantastic. I thought the, uh, the fans seem consistently throughout the game and um, make it a, a really good atmosphere to play in front of. So that was one of the, the big things uh, that I noticed from playing there. Did Rubens speak fondly of his time here? He did, he loved it here. He loved it here. And I thought it benefited both parties. I think you know Rubens a special player. He's going to have a massive future. Um, and I thought he was fantastic in the games he played for, for Palace um, and likewise Palace gave him the opportunity to go and play football in the Premier League so I think it worked um, and he spoke very highly of um, the place you know not just playing for the, the team in front of the fans but also you know behind the scenes in the training ground and all the people that are surrounded by the club so he spoke very highly of the place. Is there anyone else you know at Palace? Andros was in England um, with him um, Henderson, um, goalkeeper, I was, as I was with him at a very young age um, at Villa. <coughs> and uh, Patrick, obviously, oh, yeah, he's at Chelsea. You've won pretty much everything Champions League, Europa League, Premier League, FA Cup, League Cup. How different a challenge is it going to be at Palace? It's going to be a different challenge in that sense. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm hungry now to, to, to keep playing to prolong my career as, as much as I possibly can. Um, I feel like I'm in great shape. Um, and like I said, I'm hoping, you know, when I, when I play, whoever that may be for, whether it's England in the past, Chelsea in the past, Bolton, whoever I play for, I'd like to think I give 110% and I'll leave everything out there. So that's what I aim to do. I aim to try and bring my, <clears throat> the experience of that. And, and my hunger just of, of wanting to win, wanting to win games, wanting to win full stop. So that's what I hope to bring. And, you know, like I said earlier, there's some very exciting young players at the club. And I hope to be a part of a team that can, can have a great season and push as high up that league as we possibly can um, and go as far in the Cups as we possibly can. You joined several other experienced centre backs. We've got Mamadou Sakho, James Tompkins, Scott Dan, Martin Kelly, as well, and some talented youngsters, Sam Woods, pushing through. How important is, is strong competition um, to the defensive unit? Is it, it defensive unit, midfield unit, strikers? It's, it's what's healthy. It's what spurs people on. You have to have um, you have to have competition. You have to have goals in your career. Otherwise, if you come to a team that has no ambition, or you come to a a team where you know you're going to play every week. Um, you know you need that. You need that uh, fire in your belly. Um, but at the same time, you want to be playing with good players. And, and there, the, the, the centre backs that you've just named there are, are very good players. And in terms of experience, have a lot of experience in the league. Um, so yeah, again, I think uh, you look at it as competition, but you also look at it as as great to be coming in to, to play alongside these kind of these kind of profiles that you just mentioned. What have you been up to in the summer and then when are you, you reckon you're going to be ready? <clears throat> I'm chopping at the bit now, I'm ready to, uh, I've had the biggest summer that I've ever had I think for the last nine years, ten years I've had probably three weeks off with England and European games and all these, these kinds of competitions that you're involved in. So we haven't had that much of a break, I have this year, 
and now I'm ready to get back to work. I'm ready to, to, to get back. I'm enthusiastic and I'm ready to go. So when I'll be ready, we'll be down to the manager. Um, as soon as he's ready to put me in, I'll be there. Thanks, Harry. Thank you.